Hey everyone, Amy Rada here, and I am here today to chat with you about how to use hashtags to build your following. When I started my Beachbody career, I had 400 followers on my Instagram page, and now I'm up to almost 67,000. And when I first started, I had no background history or education in social media platforms or um, Instagram hashtags or anything like that. So when I started, I dove into as much training as many YouTube videos um, as I possibly could to soak it all in and to learn as much as I could to post my journey every single day. So I was not an expert by any means. However, I had the motivation and the determination to consistently share my story to help as many people as I could um, live a happier and healthier lifestyle. So of course, algorithms are changing every single year and things are changing left and right. You can pull up any Instagram article and it'll tell you something different than you read before. So these tips are just tips that have worked well for me and my team. And I wanted to share with you today just the basic steps of getting started to find your correct hashtags. So the first thing that I always tell my newer coaches to do is fill out something called the color wheel. The color wheel is just a simple circle with some pie cutouts. And within those pie cutouts, you want to list characteristics that describe who you are as a person outside of Beachbody, outside of health coach, outside of nutrition, and outside of fitness. So what makes you you? So maybe you love to go shopping, or you love to garden, or you're a mom of three. Whatever the case may be, you're going to post those characteristics and write them down onto your color wheel. From that... Then you're going to find out what hashtags you should use to attract your type of people onto your page. And so what this is where it takes the majority of your time. It's, a, it's very time consuming to go through, but it's really rewarding once you find the correct hashtags to use. So what I recommend is from your color wheel, take some of those words and go into your Instagram account. Click on the uh, magnifying glass and type in something about you. So whether it's gardening. Now gardening is probably going to have a very large population using that hashtag. So make it more specific. Vegetable gardening or sunflower gardening or whatever. Because that's going to narrow down the population which means more people from that specific hashtag will be able to see your photo. So if you use a hashtag that has a lot of people using the same hashtag, your photo is going to pop up into that hashtag feed and then disappear into a black hole. So if you're starting out as a newer coach and you don't have a very large following yet, you definitely want to aim for anywhere from 5,000 hashtags to about 50,000 hashtags. And what that's going to do is every single hashtag that you use puts you into a community of other people who are using that same hashtag. And the less people using it, the more visible your content will become. Instagram lets you use up to 30 hashtags per post. And what I have found to be the best way is to include two to three hashtags within your actual caption and put the rest of the hashtags in a comment. And what is really important because now Instagram is kind of cracking down on people who are you know using it too often or trying to promote things or spam accounts is you want to switch up your hashtags. So what I do is I find my five brands and I have come up with five different groups of hashtags to correlate with those five different brands. For example, I'm a fur mom. So whenever I just post a, po a photo of moose, I use my puppy hashtags, which includes, you know, BarkBox and Insta Goldens and things like that. When I do a food picture, I use a different set of hashtags than I would if I just posted a regular you know, me at the, at the mall type of post. And so what I do in my, in my notes section is I keep my hashtags um, separated by what they are, and then I just copy and paste depending on what photo I had just posted about. The next tool that's actually really great, and it's a recent addition that Instagram has made to the accounts is you can now follow hashtags. So before you were only allowed to follow people, well now you can follow a whole group of hashtags which will help you find those people a little bit easier. So again, to find the people to help grow your feed, you have to do a little bit of work. <laughs> Shocker, I know. But what you can do is when you find your hashtags that represent who you are, 
you're going to click on that hashtag and it's going to bring you to, like I said before, kind of this um, collection of all of the other people who are using that same hashtag. Now, for me, when I started, my target was teachers, newlyweds, and fur mamas. And so whenever I went and searched for different hashtags, I would just kind of scroll through and if there was a photo that sparked my interest or I thought, wow, that girl has a beautiful smile, I wanna see what she's all about, I would click on her profile because I found her through the hashtags. So when I really was reaching my big milestones in my business at the beginning of this, I put in so much effort finding my people through the hashtags. And I used the method called 531. So what I would do is I would take out a piece of paper and I would number it one through 50. I'd put the date at the top so I can keep track. And then I would start with, with one hashtag. And let's say it was kindergarten teacher life. And I would click on it and I would find a photo. And if, I, if something struck me and I thought, hey, I wanna get to know her better, then I would click on that hashtag or click on her photo, go to her profile, and then I would like five of her photos. And then I would comment on three of them and follow her account. Now what just happened is they just got nine notifications from Happy Healthy Humble. So hopefully they come back to my profile and they see what I'm all about. And maybe they follow me back. Regardless, I would follow up the next day saying, hey girl, stumbled upon your account, or oh my gosh, you teach kindergarten too, that's so amazing. Um, and just engage in that conversation. And now you kind of have already done that work and created a little bit of a relationship rather than just a cold market reach with no background. So you've invested a little bit of time into them, you've gotten to know a little bit more about them, and then you have you know, more of a connection to send a message. So from that system, the 531 method, my following grew a ton, and I found these people through my hashtags. Now whenever coaches are like, I'm not finding my people, I can't figure the hashtag thing out, all I have to say is you guys need to just be patient. You need to you need to wiggle around, you need to figure out, you know, what your brand is representing and you need to just really put in the work. Posting a photo with hashtags is not going to attract people to come and follow you. You have to go out and find these people and encourage them to come and follow your page and hopefully create that relationship to the next step and help them get into one of your challenge groups. The last tip that I wanted to explain more about that has helped some of my coaches and has helped my account is separating your hashtags based upon how many people are using those hashtags. So for example, you will choose nine hashtags that have between 50,000 and 100,000 people using that hashtag. Then you're gonna find nine other hashtags that have between 200 and 300 people using that hashtag. And you're gonna have nine hashtags that have anywhere from like 300 to 500,000 people using that hashtag. So what's that, what's that going to help you do is you're gonna kind of get your photo into different competition areas. So obviously the first nine, you're in a smaller group, the second nine, you're in a medium group, and the third nine, you're in a large group. So you're just kind of getting your photo out there to so many different levels and people and things like that. So there's so many things that you can really do with hashtags, but the one thing that matters most is you take that initial time finding the right hashtags for you. Don't include health and wellness, don't include as much fitness as you think you should, because you're trying to find those people who can relate to your story, not relate to what you are as a Beachbody coach already. Because if you use those fitness hashtags, you're going to attract other challengers and other coaches, which is amazing. I love having those people on my, on my feed. However, you wanna find that person who is on the couch that needs your help and can look at your photo and find you through that hashtag that not, fitness, not many fitness people use and say, wow, that girl is inspiring. I wanna get to know more about her and come to, over to your page.